hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue our vb.net project where we are going to start with the feedback option so guys we will be building a feedback thing over here so guys let's get started with it so first let's create a new page inside our project so right click on it go to add then windows form and now let's click on this windows form and create the page name as feedback feed bsek back let's click on add a page is created so guys now over here we will create a simple text box and to get the feedback so first let us when we start the project we want to link to this page right so for that you need to create on the first page so my first page is welcome page over here so first let me take a button click and drag let's tell this button name take the button text give a feed back make the font size let's click on this font and make it to 13 give a feedback okay and now guys let us double click on this and I want to go to this feedback page which we have created so let's type that feedback page name feedback dot show function save that's it so once you start the project you'll click on this you'll be on this page so guys now let's go to our toolbox search a label click and drag over here let's give this font size as 16 and this let's change the tag give a feedback how was your experience on this project website or whatever okay so you can just tell please give a feedback that how was your experience on the site get a toolbox from here I want one text box let's pull and drag as simple let's give a label for this label this label and as simple increase to 12 size change the font text which will be the comment comment and increase the multi line over here if you want you can add one more text box for the on the method let's copy this label and paste again and tell title on what you liked it okay or else you can create your custom title go to your combo box so I'm creating both the options okay just click and drag edit user experience is good very bad nice design best service okay so same way I have given four you can add on more before that add select let's give ok so this title will be same either you give through this title or you can just give a text box for this okay so any one you can use or else let's use both also so let's make this as subtitle just add a sub title that's it so guys now let's take one button b-u-t-t-o-n button and give 
the text name as submit feedback increase your font size to 12 and let's make it bold let's drag a little bit that's it save and now we will double click on this button to save the data let me just arrange this in center okay let's save double click on this and now you will be over here okay so this is the button one click which we are on this feedback page so guys now let's code over here so first let us include the sql class system dot data dot sql client save and now let us include that connections so dim con as new sql connections and then your command dim cmd as new sql command and then let's create one statement variable st emt let us create a shortcut as string done let's save and now guys uh, we need to create a database connection dollar i mean just con dot connection string is equal to inside double quotes we need to paste the connection so go to your server explorer access your database click on that and go to its property you will get the connection string double click on it copy and paste inside this and remove that extra double quotes and now open the connection con dot open function and then con dot close function so this will be a open and close connection and inside this you are going to type the query so before typing the query we will check that if then else and if save okay so what you are going to check over here is that this box is empty or what okay so we need to check this so just go over here go to its property and name this label okay so where is that design so this is a design over here and make this as title and then next text box which will be the design as subtitle and this comment or reason over here let's tell comment that's it so let's call this fields name so first was title dot text is equal to null if it's null or subtitle dot text is equal to null or your comment dot text is equal to null okay if it's null then you have to show the message so let's type message box dot show function and inside this function you need to tell all fields are mandatory save if it's not null then you have will be inside this else condition so as first you need to type the statement take this variable statement copy is equal to inside double quotes you are going to type your code so insert into into table name so table name is feedback okay where values will be your first field so over here inside single quotes and double quotes and then inside double and operator inside center that you need to call your title dot text let me just don't give this this and now guys over here let's give comma and then same thing you need to copy so let's copy this paste and again paste and remove that extra comma from the last so let's copy this subtitle and the comment text which is there okay done and now guys we need to check this feedback table is there or not so let's go to our server explorer 
let me just pin this okay so inside my database inside my table you can see there are two table order and users i don't have a feedback table so let's copy and create a new table right click on it add new table so first guys you can see that id is by default and let's make this id right click on this go to its property and over there you can see that sp identity specification let's open that and change this to true that's it so it is auto incremented you can see that okay and the table name which we want to create so let's rename this from table to feedback so this is my table name and then add your three columns so first will be title and that will be varchar of let's give it 100 and not null so we are not going to allow null let's give subtitle not var binary it's var care var care of 100 done and same way var care of 100 not allowed null and then last one comment var care of 100 that's it so these are the three fields and id is by primary primary id and then it is auto incremented okay so guys now let's save this table so let's click on update and update database it's done updated and now let us refresh the table and see you can see the feedback table so let me just open you can see these three columns let's close this over here and now let's continue our code so guys now as simple create a command variable command where new sql command where you are going to pass your statement or the query query comma connection your database connection and then let's execute this cmd dot execute exe non query save so msgbox box function thank you thank you for your valuable feedback message box style dot information known as success we are going to give that save and after this i want to clear these fields so i don't want to clear this title only subtitle and comment section i want to clear so let's tell subtitle clear function comment comment dot clear function that's it so let's save and now guys let us test that so let's go over here save so after the submit after the success you are going to come back to the same page and i want one back button copy paste and let's tell this button name as back button ck back And now let's double click on this and i want to tell dot me dot hide me dot hide and i want to go back to this page welcome dot show page okay so welcome page dot show function save that's it so guys now let us test this so let's save and start debugging okay let's give a feedback so how is your user experience over here okay so you can select this user experience is good website was too good thank you for your best user interface design okay now let's give us submit submit thank you for your valuable feedback okay let's give okay 
and that's it guys so let's give back done and you are back to this welcome page if you want to give again you can give this so guys now let's just close this and check that data is saved or not into our database let's close stop the project go to your server explorer and open your table let's refresh first because data might mismatch right click and you can see show table data let's click on that show table data okay so you can see that id number one is by auto incremented and these are the datas which you can see over here so these are the valuable feedbacks which we have got from our feedback page so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video how to show a report generation of your feedback table and your users table so guys in this video that's it so thank you once again guys please subscribe like and share